want to give a quick overview and comparison of uh, two of the more popular red dot sites that are on the market today. Uh, the Trijicon RMR Type 2 there on the left and the Loophole Delta Point Pro. Uh, both of these are quality optics uh, and bottom line up front. I don't think you can go wrong choosing either one of them. Uh, come from great American companies. They've got great warranties. They're going to stand behind their products. Um, both of them run around the $450 range. You can hunt around online, find them on sale, but generally speaking, uh, that seems to be an average price. I think the RMR runs a little bit more than that uh, on average. Um, my RMR there, I've got the 3.25 MOA dot, uh, real clean dot, good clean glass. And on the Delta Point Pro, I've got the 2.5 MOA dot. So, uh, pretty hard to tell the difference, and depending on the brightness setting that you're using, you'll get a little bit more, um, you know, that, that dot set tends to grow the brighter it is. Battery life is great uh, for both of them. I think the Trijicon wins out here. They advertise a four-year battery life uh, at the middle setting, um, and that's that dot stays on all the time on the uh, loop point, loop hold, on the other hand, you've got a 1,000 to 1,600 hour batter, advertised battery life. The biggest difference between the two is the loop hold has a motion sensitive um, power setting. So anytime you pick it up or if you're carrying it, it's going to be on as you're moving around. Uh, whereas the, the, the uh, loop or the Trijicon, excuse me, um, stays on all the time. Trijicon weighs in at 1.2 ounces versus 2 ounces on the Delta Point. I can't tell a difference when I'm shooting either one of those guns. Uh, that's such a small difference, it really doesn't matter. A uh, big thing that some people don't like on the uh, Trijicon, it is a battery, bottom loading battery compartment. So you have to remove those two screws, the mounting screws, take the optic off, replace the battery. Whereas on the Delta Point, it's a top loading battery compartment and you just slide the little latch on the left hand side there um, and in and out comes the battery so there's no need to remove it, it goes real easy uh, they both use the 2032 battery me personally i just make it a habit to change the battery once a year uh, i've never had a problem uh, with either and also as far as removing the trijicon and um, and then changing the battery i've also never had to make any adjustments uh, as far as re-zeroing or confirming my zero after changing the battery. So it's very repeatable, um, seems to not be really an issue, but I would always want to confirm my zero, especially if it's uh, a gun that I'm going to be carrying. A couple other things uh, to highlight. You can see on the Trijicon, it's got more of a greenish bluish hue on in the glass um, compared to the Delta Point, which is a much clearer glass uh, on, on this optic. Me personally, I like that cleaner, clearer glass. Uh, and the Delta Point also has a larger field of view. It's just a bigger piece of glass. So maybe a little bit faster in acquiring your dot. Um, and for me, I just feel like I have overall uh, better vision downrange uh, through that larger piece of glass. The housing on the Trijicon, uh, really designed to be very robust. Um, it is a coated aluminum housing on there. The loop hold uh, is just aluminum that covers uh, the, the glass itself. Again, really durable, quality products. Uh, don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. Great American companies, great warranties. I would highly recommend either one of them and they should serve you very well.